Hey guys, it's Wes. I am the man behind 2012 Design Star video series. Uh, Mandy obviously is in front of those and she deserves to be it because I'm not really good at this. This is like the 15th take I've taken. So um, anyways, I'm in the Atlanta International Airport. Really excited because I'm on my way to Holland to film Mandy and her experience in, at Hoyt Fair and just around some of the amazing flowers that are grown there. So um, thanks to Mayish for providing all of this, especially just providing um, this whole thing this whole year. I hope you guys have had some good stuff out of it. Um, first, Mandy has made an amazing Thanksgiving centerpiece that um, is really modern, so we're about to premiere that right now. And happy Thanksgiving. What we're gonna use today is this ancient acacia wooden boat. And what I love about this container from Axe Decor is that it has these neat dividers already in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place different textures in each one of the sections. I've already gotten some sculpture foam from Oasis and I've pre-designed it to fit right down into the bottom into the last little bit of our acacia boat. So I'm just gonna place it right in. It's already pre-soaked. I'm gonna place this piece right into this section. So we're gonna add in our beautiful florals to these sections. Beautiful florals from Mayish. We're gonna start with the pincushion protea. We're gonna use some pink minks. And we're also gonna use one of my favorites, the cymbidium orchids. Now, it's November, so you're thinking, Mandy, we're using tropicals? But what I like about it is it's the fall color palette. And you know, we're doing this for a modern young couple, not your mom's Thanksgiving table. So we're gonna do something a little different. Let's start with our pincushion protea first. We're simply gonna take it and just simply cut off probably about two to three inches left on the stem. You're welcome to leave the greenery on or you can pull it off if you'd like, but we're just gonna use a pave style design technique and we're just simply gonna begin putting it down into our foam. So we're gonna do this several times until we get all of this completely covered. You want to make sure that you always count out how many stems you have to make sure that you get it even throughout your design. When you're doing the pave technique, you want to make sure that you always get it on the same plane, the same surface. That is what is a true pave design. Now, we're going to move on to insert our pink minks into our last section of our boat. These are really, really hardy stems, so you want to make sure you use a great set of clippers. I love the beautiful texture of these pink mink proteas. It makes you just want to feel them and touch them while you're working. We're just simply going to add one right at the end to give a little bit of that narrow curve into our final placement. So now we're going to add in our different textures to fill in all of our empty spaces. One of my favorite things from Accent Decor is this raw cork. It comes in a large bag, just like this. And here we've got some, you can see, it's just a beautiful, beautiful natural cork here. A great vase filler. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna empty this right into the center of our boat. Make sure we fill it in right up to the top. and just simply take it and even it out. Keep it in your quadrant of your boat, that section that you want to work with. Okay. And next, we're going to take these pearlized crystal rocks from Accent Decor and fill in our last quadrant of our boat.
Next, what I want to do is make sure that we use some of our same components to come around the edges of our flowers and add in so we cover up the remaining oasis that's still showing. You always want to cover your mechanics. Next, we're going to add in our cut crystal rocks to the opposite side with our pink minks to cover up this little bit of oasis. And for our final touch, we're going to add in some of these unique, beautiful, one of my favorites, Cymbidium orchids. We're simply going to clip the blooms. Now, if you want this to have a little bit of longevity of a longer life than a typical cut Cymbidium, you can always insert it into a small little water tube before you put it down into your cork or into your glass. But we're simply just going to tuck these little guys right in just to add a fun little element on the top of this texture and a little more floral content for sure. I love the way the color of their throats plays off this beautiful rich tone of the pincushion protea. I'm going to quadrant all of these into this section with the raw cork and then I'm going to finish by using the opposite color in our glass rocks. Now, I know a lot of you might ask, why don't you use pink mink for Thanksgiving? But I love that when you look deep down into the throat of this Cymbidium orchid, you see a hint of that pink. So we're going to add that to the opposite end of our pink mink. And I'm simply reflexing the petals back so you can see a little bit more of the throat and it gives you a little bit wider span for the bloom. And there we go, our little finishing touch. Here's to a great Thanksgiving table, and here's to use tropicals during the month of November. I hope this modern centerpiece has inspired you to do something great for your holiday table. For myself and the whole Mayish family, we wish you a happy, happy Thanksgiving.